All right, so in season versus out of season. What are we doing? What are we changing? Um, are we taking exercises out? And so forth. So in season versus out of season. What I've always been told is that by the time you get to in season, all the hard work should be done. You should be done with the really high volume. You should be done with the crazy, crazy intensity. And at that point, we're just trying to maintain what we've done during the off season. So I usually would do, I would take it from five days to three or four days, especially if you're playing with, you know, you've got a sport like baseball or volleyball where you've got two games a week and they're going to be out of town. They're going to be at their sport, you know, their sporting event. Or if you've got football, they're going to be gone all day Friday, so you're going to miss at least one day in the weight room. So how are we going to change how they're working out? Typically, what I would like to do is you're still going to be cleaning, you're still going to be squatting, you're still going to be bench pressing, all that stuff. We're just taking a lot of that volume out, and we're still going to work up to a semi-heavy single, maybe like 85% for a few singles trying to move really fast. We're still doing plyometric movements, getting their CNS firing, but we're not gonna kill them with the accessory work. That's usually where I'm gonna take the volume out. We're gonna take the volume out of the accessory work, and I'm gonna take the volume, a lot of the volume out of their big lifts. So we're not doing five by fives anymore. We might be doing doubles, heavy singles, like do some waves with like threes and ones, something like that. Hey guys, now do me a favor. Go subscribe to our channel like our videos, comment. I promise you if you comment, I'll get back to you and answer all your questions. Thanks for watching.